Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class. Our textbook is Weekend 3 and today inshallah we will cover Unit 12, My Dream Vacation, reading and writing on page 94. This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazen Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz al-Agil. So let's begin. Quick revision in our last lesson. In our last uh, lesson, we uh, did uh, cover the grammar. And here with the travel and do, we said that let's play the game that a uh, game that is called uh, travel and do to try to beat a partner. And in order to play this game, we have two important questions uh, to answer. The first one about where are you going? Where are you going? So here how we play this game is to choose to answer this question by choosing an answer from this table. Let's first read or listen to the uh, answers or the words we have in this uh, table and then we uh, can uh, continue our question and know how to answer. So here we have places like uh, Najran, and we have Dubai, we have Riyadh, and Lebanon, Jeddah, Oman, Jordan, Dammam, and Jaizan. So here are, or these are the different uh, cities or the different uh, places that we can choose when we talk about where are you going. So you and your partner, you could, could be your classmates, from your classroom, could be a friend of yours, could be even one of your family member. You can gather around and ask, uh, the first one will ask uh, this uh, question, where are you going? So he or uh, she would choose a place, like for example, by saying, I am going to. So they should say that I am going to and name a place. I am going to Jordan. I am going to Damam. I am going to Oman. Or I am going to Lebanon. Or even I am going to Riyadh or I'm going to Najran. So, what is important here is that uh, he or she should say or should uh, start uh, their answer with I am going to. So going to is the I am going to is the kind of phrase that we use when we talk about uh, places. When we talk ab about uh, places that uh, we want to go to. So he or she will have a look at this table and they will choose uh, the place that they want to go. So uh, if they choose what's next? What is the other thing that we should do in this game? Here comes the second question that we can use to complete the game. And here in the, the second question is, <coughs> what, are, uh, what are you going to do there? What are you going to do there? So here we have nine different activities uh, uh, that we can do when we go to these uh, places. So let's read these activities. Let's listen to them. And then we can choose and know how to answer fully with the first question and with the second questions. So the activities we have here uh, are ride, climb, visit, drive, eat, camp, shop, swim, and watch. So here we have nine different activities we can do and, and we go or when we are traveling. So the important thing here is that when you have your partner and you ask him or her a question about uh, where are you going, then he or uh, she should choose uh, a place as we, as, uh, we said uh, that uh, start with I am going to, for example here, I'm going uh, to uh, Jeddah. I am going to Jeddah. Then you'll ask him or her a second question, which is, what are you going to do there? What are, uh, are you going to do there? Then he or she should say, uh, going there to swim. 
And if you choose the other place like Lebanon, I'm going to go uh, to Lebanon. I'm going to go to uh, Najran, for example. Then uh, they will uh, choose a different activity like uh, climb a mountain or ride the bicycle or even visit a museum or drive a car or even eat out or camp in the desert and uh, shop at the mall and then swim in the swimming pool and also watch uh, TV. So all of these activities with all of these uh, places you can choose one activity for each of these uh, places. And even after this, you will choose, as the interviewer who interview your partner, you will choose a place and write next to it uh, the activity. And your partner will do the same, will choose, he or she will choose a place and write uh, next to it an activity. So this is how you can play this game to make it uh, even more uh, interesting about uh, uh, the uh, traveling uh, game, about uh, the traveling game, which is travel and do where you go to choose the places and the things or activities you do with these uh, places. So now let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson. At the end of this lesson, we hope that you will be able to, number one, match words with the pictures, and number two, to answer questions using because, and number three, to use the very and so in sentences. So in, the, uh, in, these, uh, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to match words with the right pictures and also to answer questions, different questions, uh, by uh, using uh, because and also to use uh, very and so in different uh, sentences. And to do this, I would like you please to open your books on page 94. I would like you please to open your books on page 94. Now on page 94, what we're going to do here is that first, we're going to listen uh, to this text. We listen to it carefully. And after this, we're going to read it. We read it together. We'll underline some of the important words. And also, we're going to chant it together. But first, I would like you here to have a look at these two pictures and tell me what do you think the text will be about. So here we have two pictures that represent this text. So by looking at those, uh, uh, those uh, two uh, pictures, what do you think the text will be about? It is, of course, it will be about Saudi Arabia, our flag, and also our vision, uh, the 2030 vision. So, now let's listen. We're going to listen twice to each part of this uh, text, and after we uh, listen to it twice, we're going to read it again, and when I am reading, I'm going to point at some of the important words and uh, to, uh, for you to follow with me while you are reading, and then we can uh, cover it uh, all back and chant it uh, again. So now let's listen to uh, this uh, text. This is the kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia, a great and blessed land where the two holy mosques uh, stand. The future will be strong and uh, bright for all the children of the land. The vision will come true and all will be good and right, with the faith of the nation, with health and education, the vision will come true. For all the population, the ships will come and go. From all over the globe, businesses big and small, the kingdom they will call the leader of them all. So now let's listen to it one more time. 
So let's start listening to this chant again. This is the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, a great and blessed land, where the two holy mosques stand. The future will be strong and bright for all the children of the land. The vision will come true and all will be good and right with the faith of the nation, with health and education. The vision will come true. For all the population, the ships will come and go from all over the globe. Businesses big and small, the kingdom they will call the leader of them all. So here we did listen to the three parts of this chant where we did talk about the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Now let's read it for only one more time, but this time I'm going to point and I would like you to follow with me while I'm pointing and so we can explain some of the terms, uh, we can explain some of the terms and words we can see here in this text. So, this is the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, a great and blessed land. So here we mean by the word blessed that this land uh, has a lot of uh, resources, uh, a lot of uh, good things and benefits. This is why, and lots of people love this land, this is why it is uh, blessed. This is why this land is blessed. So, where the two uh, holy uh, mosques stand, and one of the blessings of uh, this land is that it has the two holy mosques in uh, Mecca. The first one is in Mecca, and the second one is in Al Medina. So, this is why this uh, land is blessed. Also, the future will be strong and bright for all the children of the land. So here in this uh, two sentence talks about the future of this land. It will be strong, it will be bright. Why? Because of the children we have uh, of uh, this uh, land, of this kingdom. And here, the vision will come true and all will be good and right. So here, the vision, it talks about uh, vision uh, 2030 and that the, uh, this vision will come true, which means will happen, and also everyone at that time, when it happens, uh, everyone will be good and right. And even with the faith of the nation, with health and education, the vision will come true. So the faith of the people who believe in uh, this uh, vision, uh, also with health and education, both of them, uh, health being healthy and being educated, all of them will help to make the vision come true and to be a reality. And also, for all the population, the ships will come and go from all over the globe. So, for all the population, it means that for all the people who live in this land. And regarding the ships, the ships will, the ships that has uh, goods and has uh, uh, all of the things that we need, will come and also will go from different parts of the globe different uh, parts uh, of uh, the world. And businesses big and small, the kingdom they will call the leader of them all. And all of the businesses and all of the, uh, whether they are big businesses or small businesses, 
they will call the kingdom and also uh, that uh, they will call it that the kingdom is uh, their leader and the, uh, their uh, manager who can help them in their businesses. So this is about our chant and how we did uh, chant it and we practice it by listening twice, reading and also knowing the meaning. So now let us move on to the last exercise we have for today which is match with the picture. So here we have uh, four uh, different words. The first one is small, globe, business and leader. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to match each of these words with the right uh, picture. So let's start here with the first one. The first word we have here is small. Which of these uh, pictures represent uh, the word uh, small, do you think? It is, of course, the third one. Why? Because here we're talking about small animal. Here we're talking about a small animal which is a snail snail now let's listen to the second word the second word which is globe when we say that ships come and go from all over the globe what is the globe the globe is of course the uh, planet earth and then business what do you mean by number three business our company are the work where people go to work business which is the first one and then we have a leader which is the second one leader which means an animal either a fish or a bird be at the top or at the uh, beginning with uh, and the other animals will uh, follow him so at the end it's important that we read the vision 2030 kingdom of saudi arabia chant uh, by yourself so now we have reached the end. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.